Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy. Today our topic is multiple sclerosis. So I am going to describe some important features of multiple sclerosis. Actually, they are radiologically important features. So actually, it's a demyelinating disease in the central nervous system. That means in the brain and spine. So there are multiple lesions in different regions in the central nervous system. They occur at different times. We call it dissemination in space and time. It is common in females between between to 20 to 30 years of age. There are uh, few types in multiple sclerosis. One is classic type, also called charcoal type. Another one is tumefactive. They mimic uh, small tumor-like lesions. And uh, another one, Marburg or acute malignant disease. That, that means there are large lesions. Another one is child or diffuse disease. And Barlow's concentric sclerosis. These are circular lesions. So these four lesions mimic infections and also uh, uh, SOS, so like glioma. And presentation noise, there's another classification. The commonest type is relapsing and remitting pattern. And another one is uh, secondary progressive. Third one is primary progressive. The fourth one progressive with relapses, another presentation. Another presentation is benign multiple sclerosis, a rare type. And you have to think of a differential diagnosis when a patient comes with multiple sclerosis. The differential diagnosis are ADMO, acute de disseminated encephalomyelitis. It occurs in children and also it's a white matter disease, sometimes cortex involved and also spine can also involve. And another one is Devix neuromyelitis optica. It occurs between 4 to 50 years females and there's optic nerve involvement and white matter disease and spinal cord can also get involved. Another one is infections which leads to encephalitis. Another one is SOS like glioma. Another one is Sussex syndromes. There are cannonball lesions in the corpus callosum. And, and also you have to think of metabolic diseases and also in children leukodystrophies. In the spine, the, there are a few differential diagnoses. Sadam is another one. And in Nemo, it's another one. And transverse myelitis and also infections. Our main aim is to describe imaging features of uh, multiple sclerosis. The most important imaging model it is MRI. So here you can see this is a sagittal section uh, flare image of uh, MRI brain. Here you can see few lesions here. You can see here finger-like lesions, involvement of the corpus callosum and periventricular deep white matter. You call it Dawson's fingers. These are finger-like lesions. These are flare hyperintense lesions. So another one. These are axial sections. T2 flare images, T2 and flare images. You can see deep white matter high signal areas in T2 and flare images. You can see. So, those are a few features. So, and this is the T1 contrast NS. You can see some enhancing areas. So, so these are active lesions. So, there's mainly periventricular deep white matter involvement in this patient. It's a commonest presentation. So it's another one, this is an extensive disease, you can see multiple periventricular white metal lesions, confluent areas, here we can see multiple areas, so it's another presentation of this multiple sclerosis with more advanced disease. So this, this is another one, you can see this is T1 contrast image, there are Remenancing lesions, so they are they are incomplete rings. Usually, these uh, incomplete side faces the cortex, so the enhancement is more seen in the white matter side. So these are active lesions in multiple sclerosis with enhancement. Open, you call it open rim enhancement. 
this is another feature you can see in the T1 low signal rounded lesions you call it T1 black holes these are also seen in periventricular deep white matter and uh, this is kind of a uh, another one the brainstem disease here as you can see T2 weighted images and flare images so there's involvement of the midbrain and also deep periventricular deep white matter involvement can also see so it's been brain stem disease is another presentation and there's some times optic nerve involvement so it's, you can see uh, diffusion restriction in the active lesions you can see dwy high signal and edc low signal areas so so these are active lesions there's diffusion restriction in active lesion there's diffusion restriction and enhancement so it's another one is there's a this flare image you can see the large lesion which mimics uh, a soil or glioma so actually it's a marburg type of multiple sclerosis so these are large lesion they mimic tumors it's another one here in the cerebellum and extend into the brain stem so it's another type of multiple sclerosis so like in the previous one marburg type so it mimic tumors so but this is multiple sclerosis this is the example for spinal cord involvement in the multiple sclerosis here some medulla oblongata lesions also they are less than the length is less than two vertebral segments and uh, these are two sagittal images and there are high signal plaques in the spine in adam and in nemo there are large lesions so they extend more than two vertebral segments so it's a one difference between nmo and adam in comparison to ms so this is these are spinal lesions so that concludes multiple sclerosis in radiology med series please subscribe our youtube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.